Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be packing for a trip that I'm taking to Orlando to go to Universal Studios. I'm going over my birthday, so I'm leaving tomorrow and I'll be there for three nights. So I'm leaving on Thursday. I'm gonna pack with you guys, but I feel like I need a little bit of a rest before. Last night I literally got 12 hours of sleep. I went to bed at 6 30 p.m. We are leaving kind of early tomorrow. We're leaving um, at like 6 30 but with the time change shouldn't be so bad but yeah I still need to pack. I've just been so swamped with school work and everything so been like trying to put packing off until today to try to get all my school work done before so yeah basically that's it. I'm gonna pack with you guys so um, in a bit once I take a little rest I'm gonna go upstairs and work on my clothes. I do have a good amount of my clothes picked out but I'm gonna show you guys what I've picked and then all the like other miscellaneous stuff I'm bringing. Alright it's like nearing bedtime now well it's seven so it's not like nearing bedtime but it like also kind of is because of the time change so I am going to be just like showing you guys what I'm bringing. I did already lay out most of my stuff um it's just kind of been in like a completely really ugly pile here so I've got clothes on the bed and bunch of random stuff on the floor so I'm gonna set up my tripod and just show you guys everything so first I'm gonna go through just like my miscellaneous stuff that's not clothing um, so here's my bag right here it's just this like travel pro and I'm pretty sure it's like a laptop size so we only travel most of the time with carry-ons because we go on discount airlines just to be cheap um, and I actually enjoy traveling with just one bag because you don't actually need at least I don't actually need any more stuff than this for like a four day trip. Here's the bag and I'm just going to go through all the stuff that goes in it. First I have a bunch of masks. Um, I do wear KN95s um, just like normally when I'm out in public places. Then I do have a Deathly Hollows mask and then just a regular like extra wave mask. And um, if I was going to wear this one I would double mask. I have an iPad and a charger. This is just for like watching Netflix, Disney Plus, Amazon, whatever on the plane or anytime that I can't do any schoolwork. I also have my laptop so that I can edit videos and do school because sadly, um, although it is my birthday trip, I do have to do some schoolwork. I got ahead on three of my classes, but I have to bring three of my classes to do there. Hopefully I'll get by by just doing a few hours a day, but um, I still do have to do some I can't just take those days off so I have my laptop for that then I have some hand sanitizer this is just gonna go into the bag that I'm actually bringing into the parks so I have this like fanny pack that I got from Target it is um, anti-theft so it has these clippy things that clip onto little loops so that it can't just be ripped open and this strap um, has like metal cords in it so that you can't just slash it so I like this, it also has an RFID pouch and it was only like 20 something bucks so that was pretty nice. So I'll put this in there. Also for in the parks I have sunglasses but I do need to go get a sunglasses bag for these because I don't want them to get any more scratched than they already are. I also have um, just this little bag has all my like smaller chargers and I'll put my headphones in there too. Um, I just like to keep all my chargers together, it's a lot easier so I can pull them out on the plane or whatever. I have flip flops because I can't fit Burks in this little of a bag. I also have my wallet just cause I'll need ID when flying. My computer charger which still needs to be wrapped up. I have a pen and a pencil for doing schoolwork. Gum, that is important. And then um, this is my calc notebook and then my Spanish notebook. Um, I don't have a notebook for my other class, so I won't be bringing anything for that class. I also have the Scarlet Letter, that's what I'm reading right now. And you know I'm gonna have my YN moment in the airport. I'm reading literature while she's traveling, that's me. I have this lanyard that we got well, this is from Dartmouth Family Weekend, but I have this lanyard, um, it just says Listening World of Harry Potter on it, um, but we got it, of course, at the parks. But this morning, my grandparents came over and we kind of had, like, my early birthday celebration, so, um, I got to open the few gifts that I got, because this trip's, like, 
my gift, but my mom still wanted me to get a few things. So she bought me a new tie because I um, gave away my last tie, so I will need that for my robes. And also this lanyard so that I can have my um, ticket and my room key on me, which will be super nice so that we don't have to pull them in and out. So I'll just clip this on here. And these little um, lanyard holder, whatever they're called, these clear things, they're only a dollar in the parks. So that's pretty nice but it just depends on where you go in the park because you can get them with different um like writing on them i guess so here's this lanyard i will put um my annual pass in it along with the room key once i get it i also have this bag of food we like to bring most of our own food because we're gluten free and we can't usually find um like a lot of food in parks accessibly except for at Disney they have a lot of good gluten-free food so Universal does have a few things but we do like to bring like at least um, one to one and a half meals a day so I think we have three dinners for the four days we'll be traveling and I think we have breakfast for every day too so here's this and I also think we have some lunches normally we will just get like ice cream in um, Diagon Alley which is it's always fantastic I also have this hat it's just like a generic Adidas hat. Um, it is getting really faded though now that I look at it, so maybe it's time for a new hat, but this is one I have for now. And then I think that's it for stuff that isn't clothes. I do have my toiletries and I will be wearing sneakers, but let me grab all my clothes and we'll move on to those. So I'm pretty sure this is the absolute minimum like clothing I can bring. Um, I might have to like wear some of this more while we're traveling because sometimes it doesn't fit so I'm just gonna show you what I think I'll be bringing but I haven't tried to put it in my suitcase yet so here is my traveling outfit I have this Hogwarts sweatshirt that I got at Primark in London and then just this flannel I think it's from American Eagle yes and then I will wear black leggings on the bottom if I can find them just regular black leggings here black leggings. Those will also be nice because it is going to be cooler over there. I think the highs are like in the mid 70s so definitely way warmer than it is here but um, not as hot as Florida gets. It was in the 90s last time we were there. I also of course have my wand. That is a very important thing. One of the times that we went to Universal I completely forgot it at home so I would not recommend that. So wand. Also I have my platform 93 quarter shirt that I got at Target. I have this um, Deathly Hollow shirt that I got at Vans. It's just like cropped, super comfortable, really soft. So that might be for one of the days in the park because I'm not going to be wearing my robes every day. I also have this regular pair of black athletic shorts. I decided against bringing jean shorts just because these are more comfortable, just like generally for walking around or whatever. I have a bathing suit just in case we end up at the pool. I also have a black athletic shirt. I don't know why, just maybe I will want to wear it for some reason. Maybe I'll want to go on a run or something. It's unlikely, but it's um, an option. I also have these black bike shorts. These, um, are what I wear under my robes so I'll show you what I have for my robes I've got this um, collar that I wear and then over that I have this gray dress thing but it's a little too short to not have like longer shorts under it so I wear this over the collar and then with the shorts and then of course I will wear my tie and I have a headband too that I made all of that is under my robes Ta-da! And here's the hood in case you haven't seen it before. Just this like black lacy over, uh, or like black and red I guess, lacy over black. Yeah. And then somewhere, oh here I have my head girl pin, um, which I'm going to put a locking pin back on it. So hopefully I won't lose it off my robes. I bought this last time and I didn't want to wear it because I didn't want to lose it. So I do have some locking pin backs from Disney that I might put on um, just just to be safe 
so yeah I think that's all I'm bringing as of now I might check back in in a minute if I can think of anything else or just once I like actually throw everything into my suitcase but yeah, I hope you guys like seeing what I bring. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosalie Revolts and check back because there will be um, Universal Vlogs. I'm thinking of splitting it up so I do day by day because I know sometimes it gets a little like, then we do this and then we do this and then we do this if I do like a full trip vlog. So maybe I'll have like a traveling day vlog and then um, like the next day and then my birthday and then traveling or something like that or maybe I won't do traveling back just to kind of break it up um, so that it's not like one giant long vlog so yeah um, make sure to check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts where you can purchase robes that are like mine and um, check out my book at canactorsbook.com and I'll see you guys later bye